In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to connect the cut end of a T-style hose to the B fittings found on some propane oxygen torches. Here are the supplies we will need. If using a 3 8 inch hose, you will require A3s rather than A2s. We will install the propane fitting first. All propane fittings are indicated as such by a notch on the nut. These fittings will only connect with other fittings with a notch. The notch also indicates that this particular fitting is a left hand thread. This means it screws on in a counterclockwise direction, which is the opposite from the oxygen fittings clockwise thread direction. Oxygen fittings do not have a notch and are right hand thread tightening in a clockwise direction. These fittings will only connect with other fittings without a notch. These fittings make a tight seal using a ball and cup type of connection on the inside of the fitting. Do not use tape or putty on the threads of the fittings prior to installation. These fittings are not sealed by their threads and using such materials may damage the threads or cause an improper seal. Use an 11 16 open end wrench to tighten the nuts snugly. Brass is a soft material which allows the fittings to seal correctly. Although the threads of the soft material can be damaged if you over tighten. Here is the correct configuration. Now the barbs are ready to receive the cut end of a hose. Our special all fuel T style hose comes in two sizes. Choose the one that works with your application. If we were to connect the hose now, the hose would protrude at our body, making for an uncomfortable workstation. We would like the hose to be directed downward to be out of our way. This is accomplished by shortening the length of the bottom of the hose, which happens to be the oxygen in this case. Simply take a razor blade or a sharp scissors and remove approximately an inch of the hose from the end. It is very important to put the hose clamps on the hose before pressing the hose onto the barbed ends. It is helpful to run the hose under hot water to soften the rubber. A minute should do it. With the hose clamps on and our hose just removed from the hot water, press the hose ends onto the barbs. Red always indicates propane while green indicates oxygen. Make sure the hose ends covers the entire barbed fitting. Now our hose direction will be out of the way while working on the torch. Lastly, we will need to position our hose clamps on the barbs as shown and tighten them down. Here is the correct configuration. Our seals are now ready to be tested for leaks.